Charlie Cannon, Charlie Cannon, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Hello and welcome back everyone to the Super Carlin Brothers, Super Smash Brothers, Spring Break Bowser 3v5 Challenge. Whew. Got it up two in a row. Two in a row. Oh, look great. Right. Uh, Fantastic. The real, man. Yeah, can you just continue to do it for as long as we play this game? Which right I now. feel like will be some time. Uh, it probably, since we, we're stuck at level six thus far, and it's only getting harder from here. Last game we had a great round, we and then did. probably and that, followed and that, up by us and then getting. We didn't. I wonder <laughs> how much of it is just like the randomness of like what computer characters yeah, we end up no, getting. You know. It's very, very possible. Yeah. Like, so it's because it seemed like we we pretty decidedly won our first round, oh, and yes. then we only increased one character by yeah. one, and, and we, we got, got destroyed. Trashed. You know. Uh, Derek changed characters. He's sort of on the hunt for, I, I, a, for I, a new I friend. I just don't know what to do here. I'm, I'm on the, the, the Tinder of Smash Brothers, swiping left. I don't know who to do. Simon, Richter, Theodore. Who who's do always weak. Do, do we want at the beach with us is the That's, question. That you is know? the question. Who's do you want to try random until you find somebody you like? Or is That's that just like, going to be a slow could, way to do I, it? It would be a slow way to do it, but... Uh, or fast. Uh, Look, you can go Wii Fit Trainer, you know, get some yoga in on the beach. <laughs> um, I think Zero Suit Samus literally has, like, a bikini option. The, she does have or a... some sort uh, of, like, sports bra move. A, like, <laughs> <laughs> sports bra Samus, here I we mean, go. Yeah, pretty much. No, He's like, um, whoa, they're going for it. The SBS? <laughs> yeah. Spring, yeah. SBB and SBS? You know what? Yeah. I, uh, yeah. here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do whatever new character we just got. Ooh, so you're going to be Rick. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Be, uh, oh, I like it. Fun. Okay. Good old Richter. Good old Richter. Or we got Bowser again. And uh, here we go. We're on a boat. It does I'm not I'm on float. a boat. It will not I, I had a great idea. Float. So a lot of people have been like, compiling all of the data oh. from the uh, Smash Brothers thing, but not necessarily making any comparisons yet. Um, and you guys just said something about, I wonder if which Whoa. characters are selected has an impact. And since there are five of them, and there are five blockers who played roller derby, Derek, you made a thing that, like, compared blocker efficiency when oh, like paired with is... other people? Yeah. Oh, sure. that'd be interesting. I like, wonder if we can plug who in... Who are we hoping for? Yeah. Who's the computer the worst with? Yeah, so That's, can... That'd be super Or easiestly... Yeah, like, are we... Oh, boy. Here we go. Yeah, so that could that could be a potentially interesting thing. I now you said that the boat's boat. gonna fall. The boat's not floating. I want yep. off the boat. <laughs> the boat will not float. Does not float. <laughs> will not break. Will not break. Will not break. It's broke now. <laughs> oh no, you don't, Daisy. All right, so I have a question today from Adam Z Whoa, that I think is bucket. excellent. Oh boy, come on, come on, come on, uh, come on. Adam on. says, no! J, Ben, DK, and Jordan. I have a question about expectations oh. within fandoms. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, but I've only read the entire book series twice. I'm 18. Uh, this is because I love reading in general and I prefer reading new books. Many of my friends reread the series every year and I feel like it puts the expectation on me to do the same, otherwise I'm not a true fan. Oh, wow. Do you guys struggle to find a balance between reading new books and reading, rereading Harry Potter and do you think that returning to the books in some form is necessary to continue uh, to continue being considered a fan of the series? Um, I do not think it is necessary to be, to continue to be a fan of the series at all, no. Like, I, I have actually struggled with that, this exact thing in the past, because, like, my wife will read, like, a new book every week, and I'll just be sitting there be like, I'm reading Chamber of Secrets again! <laughs> <laughs> because, like, of what we do, it's almost required that we need to, like, constantly be, like, refreshing it or taking a new perspective on it or, like, oh, what if I listen to it and assume this is true or, you know. Right, right, right. Well, like that. and that's the thing is, like, whenever we even get, like, a new bit of, of Harry Potter canon at all, it's almost like you could reread it because then all of a sudden no, there's, like... Kidding? that was such a dumb Man, thing. Man, has a kind of a nifty, like, down... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Nope, don't do it. Oh! No! Who got it? Who got it? They got it. Sorry, bad news. Where am I? I don't even know where I am on the board. I can't see myself. Am I dead? Oh, yeah. No, there yeah, I am. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Wow, that worked out very well. Everything for you worked guys. out better than expected. I am yes. in the water and I no longer wish to be. Oh, that's the opposite that's of That's one way to get out of the water. <laughs> you don't know my life. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what was the question? Uh, Jay oh, was talking like, about yeah. how he's constantly rereading stuff and Beth is that's reading ridiculous. New stuff. That's also like the same like weird kind of like gatekeeping that can happen in any kind of like nerd them where they're like, no, oh, yeah. you're not a real fan because you have not right. read. Boom! Yeah, no, I, like, 
I have no appreciation for the you are not a real fan. Like, who are you to decide? Yeah. If you have like seen one of the Harry Potter movies and you enjoyed it a lot, then you are a Harry Potter fan. Nobody can uh, take that away from me. I Ooh, am tired of not participating <laughs> in the battles. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, man. Remember when Look your at goal this used to be to all over this one. in the number of Now KOs? my goal is to get one KO in the character <laughs> I suck at. Oh, man. New goal. Look at that. We were, uh, oh, what were your smashing attacks, Ben? 47. 47. I think Ben is just standing there launching smashing I'm just, I'm just winding just up You know, but your people. hit percentage is still pretty good. It was 34 this game. Like, that is at what everybody else is. Let's see. Hit percentage. Is, do you want a lower hit percentage or a higher? Higher, okay. because it means That's the, the more yeah, of the how things... often you are so, connecting. Yeah. What was y'all's hit percentages? 24. Mine was 30%. Okay, so I'm connecting. Yeah, I'm connecting. you were connecting more than us, you did more damage, you killed more people. Yeah, I'd yeah. say you easily won the round. Go, Ike! Okay, now we have to take a quick break for a message from our Patreon sponsor of the day. Today's sponsor message comes from SCV fan Anna, who says, Hi! Jordan told me to write something, so I'm doing it. How's it going? Good? Good. Also, also, <laughs> actually, actually, I sent you guys a magnet. It's pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Hope you guys like it. You know what? The magnet, it was fine. It was, it's fine. <laughs> it was fine. It's fine. If you're yeah. in on the joke, you get it. Yeah, the joke is the magnet said, it's fine. It's fine. It was, I think that must have been from her. Oh, one of us is going to have to fight Lucas. It's almost certainly going to be to join me. the battle. Lucas. Let's see. Probably Ooh, it's probably gonna be Ben. Yeah, I think he had yeah, won the round as it were. Look, New York oh, City. What is this? This is a well, level. Zario level. You should yeah. definitely yeah, do this level. level. It is huge. This does look like a great place to spring break. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh this. Oh. <laughs> Not uh -oh. good for me. It is. Yeah, but that look at that. Your so low damage. Yeah, it does like 20. You hit him once. Yeah, and now he's hit you twice. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uppy, uppy. There it is. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Got there. Not my game. There it is. Bam bam! There it Woo! is. Staying in the percent lead, the damage lead. See ya! Oh man. Oh wow. He's just asking for it. It's oh, just so big. Wow. That would have killed him on most levels, I think. Is that your up B? The wackadoo, like, throw It's actually my thing? down B. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, wait. Your what? What's your down? That's your oh, up B. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my up B. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. Get him. Oh, there it is. Bam! Yeah! Bam. Oh, oh, come oh, on! You. Get out of here! Pork City, man. Pork City. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Oh boy. Oh, now he's coming in with a vengeance. He's coming in quick. Oh, oh my gosh. I thought that was through that gap. <laughs> I thought he was just going to take a dive. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. That, all you need is like one more smash on him, and he's so dead. But I'm, I'm also You're getting there. You're also getting there yourself. Oh, 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 oh! Get it! No! No! no, 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 no. Get it! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See ya! Oh, poor little Lucas and his dumb snake. Ugh. Uh, what happened? That uh, Lucas's face is like the surprised Pikachu face. Whoo! Uh, <laughs> surprised Pikachu face. Um, I changed my mind. I don't want to do the new characters because Lucas sucks too. Uh, so is Lucas like didn't Ness? Laugh. Yeah, he's Whatever like, stage he's... you guys were just on. That you had to fight Lucas on, I think. Oh, yeah, what was that one? That's level. Newport City. Let's see if we can't find it. Victor Jack, Mario Galaxy, Mario Circuit, Mario Is it bottom, middle, or, or second from the Yeah, line? there you go, there. Yep, yep, what? yep. No, that's. Oh, no, that's. That's the what great in the show. world? New Donk City. Do we have Get access to all the things? I don't know. I don't know. Certainly it was just there. Well, there's too many, too many levels. Uh, jumping back to the question that Adam had, I think that the thing that really makes you a fake fan is judging other people's fans. No kidding! My goodness, what? I can't. Everybody enjoys things. There's so in their little that I way. find as irritating as stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, well you know, and it's so it's so interesting too. Um, like when I first started uh, dating. <laughs> Alice. Mm -hmm. It was interesting to me how frequently she would like describe one of her friends to me as like a huge Harry Potter fan. And because I do feel like I always took a little bit of like this this feeling of like uh 
It's interesting to me that you would describe them as a huge Harry Potter fan when you know what I do. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> is it, you know me. It, like, sure, sure, sure. So I think I was falling victim to this exact thing where I'm like, are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure that that's like how we should describe them? Right. Mm -hmm. out oh, the going guns. for Roy. Breaking oh. out the bed guns. Uh oh, going uh, for and more And you won that, so blood. somebody needs to go up to a level seven. Oh, you're right. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Whoops. Bam. There we go. Oh, We're at level you. seven. We've entered a new realm. Here we go. I wonder who. Let's see. Which of them will be the level seven? It shall be Link. That's not good. Not, oh, not good friends. Look at the villager. He looks so stupid. <laughs> Peach is considered to be a very good character. Very good character. Game. Yep. And Daisy, both of them. At least uh, by like real people now, how the computer handles it. Yeah. And I, I say that uh, making fun of how other people have their fandoms is bad, knowing darn well that there was a time in my life where like I probably was just as judgmental about oh, yeah, absolutely. people, you know, not knowing things, and then I realized. Well, yeah, but then you graduated high school and everything so you got better. Yeah, pretty much. That is that is definitely a time where it feels much more relevant. Um, well, I can see it's easy to fall victim to because often like a fandom can feel like how you identify yourself. Like if you spend a lot of time in there, and then someone who knows nothing is. You know, invading your space. Sure, sure, sure. What is Roy's uh, overview? Are um, there any fans? It is like a. I think it's like a. a, a oh, I'm out, y'all. You're oh, out. No, no, no. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. I was, I was like, like, oh whoa. my god, we are so screwed. <laughs> right? Oh, I'm out. Oh. There's one. Um, are there any fandoms that you guys participate in that you feel like you are less knowledgeable than maybe the average fan? Um, oh, no. Smash? Yeah, Harry <laughs> Potter, because I'd be hanging out with these two jokers. Uh, nothing, I, don't, I wouldn't say any of like the main things we talk about on the channel. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that way. Yeah, I mean, in the thing, the thing that I know about myself, it, like, especially even with Harry Potter, where we know, like, a lot about it, we have studied, like, the, um... Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, over man, here. That's it, man, that's bad. We have studied like the um, the story in such a big way that I do feel like sometimes I feel slightly ignorant on uh, like basic trivia, which is really weird. Um, like the other day, I was re-listening to Order of the Phoenix, and there was a comment about the snitch being worth 150 points, and I was like, I don't know why. I thought it was 160. <laughs> and it's like it's the dumbest thing like for me to not know because it's such yeah. an elementary right. you know factoid. But I definitely would have had it wrong if I had been asked a question about it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Was well, that lone Charizard hitting the uh, front of the screen? Really? Um, one of my favorite things is like finding a new fandom or like Oops. something new to get excited about and Great. just going into it full heartedly. Have you guys ever felt unwelcome yourself in some sort of fandom? Mm. Mm -hmm. Man, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I can think of immediately, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure that that's happened, but I... Yeah, nothing, I feel nothing like immediately comes happened, to right? mind. So, I don't know if this would even like really count as like a fandom fandom, but it just felt like something I was really late to the party on, and then there was just no way to enter, was a uh, horror hero. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yes. Like, it was just like, I'm there out. was no learning to play this game for me, because you could only play it with other people, or that was often the case, which is the point of the game. But... They're always so much better than you. Oh. Everyone was so much better than me that it was just like, it's not even fun for them, yeah, right. for me to have a turn. It's not fun for me to have a turn because I just don't know what's going on. Oh god, did I just die? Oh, wow. oh we just got rocked. Oh, oh no. By Villager, way to make fun of him. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what, dungeons. I was like, I didn't even know what he was doing in Smash. And I just saw like everyone coupled together and I was like, I can go yeah. in there and wreck. Uh, I don't know what the villager smack. I got one. Uh, That's nice. There you go, Darren. Hey. Doing oh great. Boy. Doing Jay, great. Jay, it's so funny you say Guitar Hero, because I actually similarly had that with uh, Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, oh sure. Which, yeah. like, I had one of my good friends oh, in middle sorry, school who's, um, like, username on AOL Instant Messenger was, like, DDR, you know, whatever, Pro 777 or something like that. Right. Um, shout out to Ruben. 
who was very good at DDR. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of those things where like the people that are good at it are so good at it that you're like, uh, sure, I'll try, and then you just feel like a child. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. But no, I mean like. I, we've talked board games so often, but I very much have this feeling with board games where I'm like... That makes me sad. I know, I know, but like, you guys get into it in a way that I assume is like, going to be preventative. Was that two? That, yeah, that was two. Oh, okay. Oh my was goodness. it? What? Oh, man. My goodness, we flew through that one. I must just start well, the third round. Woo! We did lose. We did lose. Oh, <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, it, it goes make faster, it faster when we lose, yeah. <laughs> That, that, that makes sense. There's less sense. of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm, well. uh, No, the end of that sentiment, though, is that basically, like, you guys play board games, and I'm like, oh, well, they're already going to be really good at it. And so, like, if I were to show up... Phew. Yeah. Not always true, though. Not always we true. Played, we, we got Ben to play some games over the past weekend. He totally won a few rounds. It totally just goes to show that sometimes your fear of the unknown is the problem. Right. It's kind of like, I don't know how I will fare, and I assume it's not going to be as well. Right. So yeah, that's yeah. always yeah. true. Go out there and face your fears, people. There you go. Well, until next time. Shut the cannons, shut the cannons. Boom, boom, boom. We're on a purse. <laughs>